Hello friend, Daniel here with StockMusicLicensing.com, bringing you the best tips and strategies for selling your music on royalty-free libraries. So what music should you write? What music sells the most on stock libraries? This is an interesting question, and this is a question that I get a lot. So really, the music that sells the most is happy, inspirational, and uplifted music, regardless of the genre that you write in, okay? Sad music is by far the most difficult styles of music to sell on stock libraries. Sad music, anything that is dark, anything that is a little bit uh, too spooky, there is a place for that, but it's not really something that it will sell on a day-to-day -day basis. So anything that is happy, feel good, inspirational, uplifting, regardless of the genre that you're writing in, either cinematic music, pop, rock, uh, acoustic, ambient music, it doesn't matter the genre, as long as you're writing feel good music and especially inspirational music, something that will give a nice vibe to any project or visuals, if you will. This is by far the best music to sell. Now, in my case, I'm a guitarist, I'm a guitar player, so I sell a lot of uh, acoustic uh, music. It's really inspirational in nature, but at the same time, it touches a little bit in the nostalgic of feelings, nostalgia, uh, melancholic maybe at times, but it's, there's a fine line between those emotions and inspiration. So it really depends how you can position those tracks, or at least my tracks, which happens to be acoustic work. I do a lot of pop rock as well. I do a lot of rock music. Um, and anything that is really with the guitar as the main instrument. I have, however, really experimented over the years with different genres. I have gotten out of my comfort zone multiple times, and I always push the envelope in terms of what other genres can I write. So even though I use the guitar as my main instrument, it's always a good idea to really experiment with other genres and then come back to your instrument, okay? But the most important thing here is to really master that genre that you're uh, coming from. So for example, what do, what do I mean by that? What I mean is that you have to be very self-aware of, of your genre. So if you are a hip hop producer, but you haven't really mastered your genre, then it's a bad idea to go and jump in different genres at that point. You really need to master your genre, okay, in your style. Only when you become a master and you really say, hey, I have this really uh, nailed down to the T, now I can go and embark on different genres and get out of my comfort zone. Because otherwise you're gonna be diluting yourself and you're not gonna be successful in any genre and you will always feel uh, unfulfilled or unhappy with the progress that you've done in your genre and hip hop. Now this is really uh, crucial to understand, okay? I'm not saying that you shouldn't experiment, but first you need to master your style, you need to master your genre. For me, this is so true and this was something that it took me a, some time to really comprehend, but you need to master your genre. Now you really need to get down and practice and say, hey, now I am so happy with the level that I have with my style of music. Now I can embark in different genres and, and styles. And the reason why is because the same blueprint that you're using in your genre, you're gonna transfer that to another style. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. It means the world to me. I love you all very much. And as always, rock and roll, and here's to your success. Thank <laughs> you.